Let's talk about the principle of kings very quickly. Write this down, please. First of all, kings are legal owners of property or territory. Number two, kings own whatever is in and on their property. Number three, kings rule or command whatever is in their territory. And number four, kings have absolute authority and control over their property. And number five, a king's wealth is measured by the wealth of his property. And number six, kings can give their property to anyone they will. Please buy this tape, this CD. Those statements are awesome about kings. You cannot be a king unless you have property. The property of the king is called his domain. The domain is the property the king rules. The king owns the property. Kings don't rent. So some of you ain't quite yet ruling, but you're on your way. Say, never on my way. Kings own the property and they control what's in it. Now what's important here is that the king's wealth is measured by the wealth of his property, his territory. So a king is always trying to improve the wealth of his property. That's the measure of his kingdom. Quality of wealth. That's why the empires of the old world, who you know about, Britain and France and Portugal and Spain and all these great kingdoms, they were kingdoms first, they were not kingdoms, they were kingdoms. Do you know what their greatest goal was? To go and get more land and get more wealth. So they sent explorers out to find land, to find gold, and to bring it back to their kingdom and to own more land. That is why most kingdoms extended their rulership over new territories and they call those territories colonies. The Bahamas is a result of kingdoms who wanted to expand their wealth. When a kingdom discovers land and it has wealth in it, they want to possess it. That's why kingdoms fight over property. Anybody listen to me? The Spaniards almost had the Bahamas. Did you know you almost spoke Spanish? Read, go back to history, read history books. The Spanish held the Bahamas for a short period. And the British came and fought. And whoever won chose the language you spoke. <laughs> you were almost Cuban. The French took Haiti. And the Spanish fought the French and had Haiti for a brief moment. And the French was able to win. And that's why them folks speak French. In other words, when a kingdom takes over territory, it converts it into its kingdom. Oh, hallelujah. Everybody said, oh, it's the Lord's. I'm getting ahead of myself. I just want to just put this in right now. Let me put it in right now. Watch this. So when Jesus came to earth, he was who? The king. 